2008 U.S. National Champion, Mr. Miguel Torres. You're here for another four or five minutes of this uh, pretty exciting day. I'm going to invite you to introduce our panel. Uh, we have Chris Kelly of Pace Packing Inc. Chris, you probably are new to this panel. Nice to see you. Well, I just understand that now that the audio went live and uh, everything I said before this is washed away. I'll try if I can remember to repeat it as we go along. Most of it had to do with uh, Pedro and the uh, the way he's playing in this tournament so far, this is his first match. He's averaging 2.051 in the first four. The first three were done in 19 innings, and the fourth one was done in 22 innings. That's certainly world-class billiards.
That's a two. Table number two, we have uh, Miguel Torres playing Cho, J. Cho. So we have two Cho's playing at the same time, but on different tables. Thank goodness for that. This is Sonny Cho, just scoring. Sonny, a very popular player, a good friend of mine, I've known for a long time. Always been a big supporter of Three Cushion Billiards from the time he was a young lad. Sonny's average 1.007 for his first four matches, winning two and losing two. I just hate. Thank you. They're trying to uh, fill me with food here. And I said no. from <clears throat> Chicago here doing a lot of filming and uh, I understand I was talking to her she's doing it for uh, I guess a documentary on pool and billiards and she says she's done about uh, 500 rolls of film so far that's dedication and I think I got those numbers right always smiling though maybe somebody else is editing them Standing room only here for this match. It's a pleasure to see the interest that uh, is generated by Three Cushion. Pedro's going to bank here. close but didn't hit both balls <clears throat> get sunny off and running here He should be able to handle this shot. Oh my. At that speed, how it went around is hard to believe. My score says five to two. After three innings, and as I mentioned before, I do not have access to the electric scoreboard as that is facing the audience and 
I don't get to see it, so I'm keeping score here manually, and I check it every so many innings. Somebody flashes me a signal, and hopefully I'm right. And if I'm not, I'm not. The, mine is not the primary and valid score anyway. I understand that Jim Frederick chatted in and mentioned about the time uh, I did one of the AccuStats broadcasts many years ago. And in his memory, he got just about all of it correct. Uh, I'm a big booster of AccuStats and own a lot of their tapes. Hey, Jim. Pedro is so solid at the table and looks so confident at whatever he's doing. He uh, has a room in San Diego and I'm sure he misses the weather out there right now. Just a couple of seconds here. I'm going to have Bill Johnson sit in with us from Detroit, a veteran tournament player, and uh, and uh, so and I would say is just as expert at this game as uh, anybody I know. Oh, we're treated to a real good game here, Bill. Uh, real good players. Yeah, he slipped a little. He didn't get the 19-inning game. He slipped the 22 innings. I guess he's getting tired a bit there. He had three, actually. Three in a row, which is incredible. That's something neither you or I could either do, ever. But just to shoot the same average three games in a row is just uh, hard to believe. No matter what. Yes. <clears throat> Tonight at 9 o'clock, please be on as we've got uh, an artistic three cushion billiard show by. Miguel Torres, whose show is absolutely excellent and not only shows his talent, but there's a bunch of humor. Yeah, I guess I'm on now. <laughs> I was probably just talking to the wind. <laughs> so don't forget that, 9 o'clock tonight. my friends back in Detroit, I want to say I wish you were here. This is turning out to be a really beautiful event. We we had the uh, billiard room open until 5 in the morning last night. 
Beautiful. And uh, a bunch of trick shot yeah, well, I haven't finished artists it. were in here trying to make shots, <laughs> which was funny. And uh, it, daily it's packed. One up here, I don't know. We've Go ahead. That's we've had a, Sorry we've about had a, that. We've though. had a full audience <laughs> every day. Now, I've been watching Pedro play for uh, about 13 years now. And the first time I saw him was in 1998 and in New York, and Pedro was, you know, averaging a little over one. And uh, I've seen him really improve over the years. And this is this is really phenomenal what he's doing here. But uh, yeah, yeah, this is Bill, this is seven now, Bill. I think this is shooting for his eighth billiard here oh, wow. on this run. Wow! Yeah, he he opened a game yesterday with a fourteen. That he did, yeah. Yeah. He closed out a game with a nine too. Yeah, he had another game where he had a nine and a ten. In it so uh, the words out that the tables play a little bit short but that's characteristic of these tables and it doesn't I, I think Pedro likes them <laughs> likes them short I guess a live streaming here is done by invitational uh, for the invitational champion of champions provided by MI Billiards live to you streams support provided by Presic Professor Q-Ball Promotions and the USBA, United States Billiards Association. Special thanks to Steve Elzinga, Curly on the side. Yeah, I, I was privileged to be here when these tables were set up, and I've been around other tables, and these tables have the, the 60 millimeter slates, which is two, like two and three eighths inches. They weigh about 800 pounds a piece. It's, and they have the IB i-beam construction you know for the frame and man these are some <laughs> these are some really solid tables they play beautiful extremely consistent you know and and personally i i like uh you know the shorter rolling tables because that's what i grew up on but uh you know this is really nice really a treat I think Pedro's going to come back. Three rails here. I think he's going off the red. And, and what's what's he on now? How many? This is one. Oh, okay. This is his second if he makes it. <laughs> yeah. I didn't see him miss the last. Uh, yeah, well, he, he was a billiard that, that that should have made but missed. There was many of them yeah. on this table. Yeah, I'll try. I'll try to get with the program, Max. <laughs> I just just got in. Three or five rails here. Uh, it looks like three. Yeah. He's been playing like a machine in this tournament. It's a yeah. well tuned machine. Well, you know, uh, Pe Pedro has a reputation for being kind of a slow player, but I'll tell you what, he's picked his speed up. I mean, I've watched yeah, every, that's, game, that's every game he's played. And very he is, noticeable, Bill. You're right. He, he is playing with a different rhythm, and, and I'm not sure if it's conscious or just the fact that he might be comfortable on these tables but whatever it is it seems to, to make him play much better <laughs> well when he speeds it up it means he scores faster <laughs> you know he's a, he's a dead punch I know I know I mean this is rumor I don't know if it's fact or not but uh, when, when they got the shot clock in Europe some of the slower players their games picked up uh, speed and and they played better. <laughs> it's just uh, it's kind of uh, counterintuitive to, to some people. <laughs> well, we we have the uh, electronic scorekeepers which do have clocks on them, but 
I haven't seen the clocks used in a while, so I think they they pretty much got most. I'm not sure what they're doing in Europe, though. But I think uh, I don't know either. The problem he seems to have with this shot is what to do with that white ball. Yeah. He can get the three cushions, but yeah. he's got to get that white ball to the bottom rail. Yeah. First, he can't cut it to the side rail. Yeah. Well, he did, but yeah, yeah. It's uh, managing the ball and then getting it short <laughs> enough was difficult. How many points does Sonny have now? Sonny has two, and uh, he's got a little bit of work to do. But he needs something to start with. And I don't know whether he's got it or not. Yeah, yeah. You can't count Sonny out, though. <laughs> I've, I've had him by a few points in the past. He just he's a machine once he starts rolling. So he's explosive, explosive player. I, I expect I expect this game to clo uh, you know get closer it, as it goes along. Sonny's got no give up in him. He's gonna. That's gonna make. Yep. Well, he got a partial reward. It's not, not easy. Yeah. Sonny's got that. Choked up, uh, you know, he holds a, a hand like an old style pool player close to the balance point and, and it just explodes into the ball. He's very, very fun to watch, S especially when he, when he runs a bunch of billiards. It's just like bang, 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 bang. And he's a beautiful player and a nice guy. Yeah, really is. Now that's kind of typical of Sonny when I think of people standing there with one leg up in the air. Not, that's just kind of something I see in, in, in New York. I don't see so much of it where I play. In between these two games, as Sonny was walking around out of out of his uniform, out of his yeah. formal wear, and it went on the phone. He was just walking around and talking, yeah. and we were still live. Yeah. And uh, I said, well, I... Sure, I'm surprised. I was always told that Sonny couldn't walk and talk at the same time, <laughs> but apparently he can. And I put it up. Yeah. It's been streamed. So if he sees it, I told him I did it afterwards. Yeah, Sonny's He's one a of showman. The, yeah, Sonny's one of the the players that that likes to to play with a with a poker face, and uh, you know it's it's hard to get you know him to be social when he's in a competition. I mean, away from the table, and you know, later on, he's a fine guy, but he gets that uh, intensity, and you know, some players just can't, uh, you know, go go between socializing and playing. And no, and they really shouldn't have to. No, they don't. Not in this game. I mean, this is this is the beauty of the game. The game is, you know, really predicated on a lot of etiquette, and I think it's, you know. Unfortunately, I golf, and I see a lot of people nowadays. Their first lesson should have been etiquette, and they, they have no clue. And their last lesson as well. Yeah. But, you know, I you respect just, that. You, you just know. saw a rarity there, folks, in an open inning. Yeah. yeah. You know, I'm kind of like that myself, but I'm loquacious, and, you know, when I'm playing, I like to talk to people, and, and that doesn't always help my game. Well, you don't talk while they're swinging, though. That's for sure. No. But you don't do that. <laughs> no, that's that's pretty rough, rough fare when you do that. <laughs> We've had an awful lot of pool player interest, though. This this game, I think, is uh, appeals to a wide variety of people, and it's just not it's just not uh, around enough in the country for for people to see it. Sometimes we take uh, shots for granted, and and that might have been the case with Sonny there. I, there was he could have certainly avoided that kiss had he probably thought about it a little bit. Oh, okay. What do we got here? Looks like a rail first off the white cross yeah. table in yeah. the corner. The angle doesn't look right to me, but maybe uh, 
maybe the angle's deceptive. Yeah, but yeah, I guess it was. Yeah. As I keep saying on these broadcasts, Bill, uh, I can call these shots. I just can't make them. Yeah, I know the feeling. In fact, you know, for aspiring billiard players, I mean, that that's one of the best ways to learn is to watch the tapes and try to figure out what these guys are going to do. Uh, there are some players out there, if you watch old Sang Lee tapes, you have no idea what he's going to do. He's, he was a magician, and uh, I mean, my goodness, creativity is, is such a vital part of this game. And uh, I think if it was just straightforward game, like like pool, I, I would have lost interest. In fact, I was a pool player. I did lose interest, but... There's an endless shots that come up, and people are always coming up with new ideas. And uh, <laughs> one player's mistake is another another player's aha moment. <laughs> uh, we got a new shot here. Looks like a cross table, huh? Yeah. 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 yeah wow. This need a little bit Somebody more of uh, what, what my, my mentor, Carl Conlon, called a, a Putney Swope. <laughs> Make that white ball swope. We'll get a little bit better action here. Every tournament, especially this one, needs sponsors because this is a big venture. Yeah. And we've been fortunate to be uh, assisted by um, Alan Hopkins Productions, Professor Q-Ball Promotions, Absolutely. Gabriel Stables, Iwana Simonis Cloth, Kamui Tips, Longoni Cues, and the United States Billiard Association, all helping yeah. to make this event possible. Yeah, the, the, the players that you see out here, I mean, uh, the prize money is, is not much. So, uh, you know, everybody's got to have a regular job. And uh, all the sponsors are so appreciated. I mean, th this event couldn't happen. You couldn't, you know, and these players are so talented and put so much into it, their whole life into it. And it's it's all about love of the game, and uh, the sponsors are what makes it happen here. I'm telling you, we appreciate them. We also have uh, a lot of individual sponsors that we couldn't yes. do without. Alan Hopkins, Bob oh, yeah. Jewett, oh, yeah. Paul Frankel, David Levine, sure. Dennis Deakman, Croy Young Ra, George Hart, Bruce mm -hmm. Warner, Bob Watson, Andrew Jaquito, Philippe Raison, Juan Elzalda, Salas, Ray Raskin, Tommy Thompson. Jim Shovak, Mason Shuni, and Bill Worrell, just to mention a few of them. And and some people don't, you know, just donate their time and, and energy, and uh, that's fine. I mean, we need that, too. A lot goes into... Yeah, there's a lot of helpers around here. It yeah. goes into making this happen. And uh, it's, a, it's a very addicting game. I mean... I tried to quit this game years ago. It was futile. I, I mean... There was no way. <laughs> I found it easier to quit smoking than to quit billiards. Yeah. I mean, I've, I've quit smoking and I quit drinking, but I can't quit billiards. <laughs> and I don't want to. I'll tell you, I love it. And as funny as it seems, I'm always trying to pick up new things. And, you know, I, w I picked something up that Pedro does last night. And I'm, and I'm in here until 5 in the morning. You know, of course, I was, run you know, running the room and allowing some of the Pool players to play some, and uh, well, you just I'm got an edge there. Yeah, you see sure that ball? It looked like it, uh, it had to get a, it. He looked like he had to get a third of the ball, and he just yeah. got an edge. So I picked up uh, on something that uh, Pedro was doing, and, and you know I'm in here trying it, and in uh, the, the the events we've had at uh, Carom Cafe, I, I watch uh, Bloom Ball, and I watch uh, you know especially Sammy Sagener, and and. <laughs> You know, you've got to try it all. It's, it's just uh, really an amazing game. So many different styles. Oh, we got a great style here. We're yeah. Take advantage of him. Yeah. I'll Look tell at you this what. shot. Look at this shot. There's a point, you know, in. in uh, <laughs> he, he wasn't. He wasn't trying that shot, but. Uh, no, I think uh, he probably hit the wrong reel, but he got yeah, away with it. Yeah, so, some of the Europeans shoot that shot on a regular basis. It's a pretty big ball. So. And Blumdahl is, uh, and plays a lot of backup shots. In fact, he's the <coughs> one that pretty much started coming up with those backup shots. And his his speed is is a little firmer than the um, average player's speed. 
average world class player speed. So I think uh, maybe he came out on some of those shots accidentally, but I know they practice a lot, so they practice all kinds of things. And, that, and to me, to me, you know, that was the fascinating thing about, you know, watching Sammy Sagener in New York, practicing for five hours a night, trying the craziest wow, shots. Look at that! And, look at that. And we got to talk a little bit about this guy. Yeah, he's yeah, yeah, he's he's, he's not, crazy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, he's he's getting an awful lot of uh, really beautiful, beautiful runs. What's he got a seven? And a well, he's got a seven, and now he's he's got he's on a four now. He's yeah. already had another four. And you know what, uh, uh, man? I mean, I can't believe it. I thought maybe I was seeing things, but his speed has picked up. I mean, really picked up. So that's that's another good to see. Beauty. And he's got this one, I'm sure. Oh yeah, right in the middle. Yeah, <laughs> man. Oh man, he's a machine. He's, he's some, of the, some of the records of the players here, uh, Jay Cho is 3-1, uh, and one. Hugo Patino is, actually he's 3-2, and two. he's played five games, Miguel Torres is 2-2, two and two. Mercedes Gonzalez is 0-5, and five. Pedro is 4-0, and zero. Mason is 2-3, and three. Sonny is Two and two, and Carlos Halone is two and three. So I'm going to play one more game, and they're catching up now, yeah. these, these four players. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't oh, know about I, this one. Yeah. Well, if anybody's going to beat Pedro, they're <laughs> They're going to have a hard way to do it because everybody's got at least two losses. So yeah, it's, it's uh, that's a good point, Bill. Yeah. And uh, I think they have two rounds to play tomorrow. I think one round tomorrow. That's what I thought, but Charlie Brown oh, they changed told it. me that no, he told me it's two. I don't oh, know. Yeah. oh well, maybe two sessions. Two sessions, yeah. Yeah. Which means one full round. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I misunderstood that, and he finally explained yeah. that, or, or I could grasp it. Yeah. Well, uh, so if Pedro wins this game, he's pretty much a lock-in. But I mean, I don't uh, see him losing two games. No. Maybe somebody will beat him, but I don't know if two people will. You know, I mean, that was one of the the bets beforehand. You know, would somebody go undefeated? And uh, yeah, I know that. That was offered to me. Yeah, everybody kind of thought nobody would go. No, undefeated. I wouldn't take it. I, I, you know, I, like I said, I saw Pedro when he went from uh, being just a, a one player, and and he played down in, in Atlanta, Georgia, in 2000, and and he had a tournament. He came in fifth place. He averaged 1.6. It was an international tournament, and I I asked him. I said, Pedro, what happened? What happened to your game? He says, I don't know. He says, I was just making billiards. I've never played like that. I never thought I could. And then <clears throat> I was fortunate enough to be. Uh, in uh, 2003, when, when uh, Pedro beat Zhang Li for the first time, and I kept score of that game, and Pedro beat him uh, 50 to 25 in 25 innings, and Pedro said to me, I never thought I could beat Zhang Li. And, you know, he was a very humble man. But my goodness, I mean, uh, he, he's definitely uh, a world-class player. There's no doubt about it. Some of the other averages are um, Jay Cho is one two six three, Patino is one zero seven eight, Miguel Torres is one point one three zero, Pedro is uh, two point zero five one as we said before, Mason Shuni is one point zero six eight, Sonny Cho is one point zero zero seven, and Carlos Halon is point nine five nine. And all these averages are pretty pretty much in range with what you know you pretty much expect from these players. I mean, Pedro is just <laughs> he's really standing out in this tournament. I'm not sure if it was preparation or if all his uh, stars are aligned or. <laughs> and he came the farthest too. Yeah. Yeah. San Diego. Yeah, he's got a beautiful pool room in, in San Diego. 
His life seems to be in order, so he's uh, feeling good. Well, it's on a run of three this inning so far. My goodness. <laughs> this is uh, possibly off the white ball is a little problematic. Pick up a, he can pick I'm up a, a believer, Bill. I think whatever he wants to do, he can do. Yeah, I think you might be right. That's the problem right here. Boom. <laughs> oh. oh, he got out of that all right. Beautiful shot. That's beautiful. You know that you can run out of uh, superlatives to say about him. Yeah. You just have to let your eyes uh, take all this in and tell you what he's, he's he has definitely made his game look a lot better you know with the speed of play that he's he's got he's he's on to something i don't know what it is he's changed and i've watched him like i said for 13 years and i and i watched uh, the the nationals when you go beat him and, and those were painful to watch <laughs> two one hole games you had to beat him twice was very very intense <laughs> intense billiards and it looks like he's just running away with with this thing which more power to him my goodness Big distraction watching uh, watching the beauty of the game and trying to keep score. The wrong rail, huh? Yeah. Well, I have him 28 in nine innings. It's a little over three. <laughs> and uh, what was it yesterday? He had 27 in six innings. <laughs> yeah, he had uh, eight and I mean 30 in eight innings. <laughs> yeah, he's just he's on fire. He's going to have, uh, you know, an American average for, for playing in an all-American tour here, tour event, which he's going to have a, a record. I didn't know that uh, that was a great way of playing that. That seemed to be a difficult way, but if he felt like he was confident, that's what you has to do. Yeah. Oh, look at this. He's <laughs> ignoring me. <laughs> Conference now. <clears throat> Twenty eight to four. Third. Wow. It's even better. I must have missed an inning. That's what happened. I missed an inning. Okay. I don't care about the innings that much. I want to get the score right. Stretch that forward, you think? I don't think so. Yep. 
Uh, I, I think uh, Pedro's the uh, current Pan American champion, too. Yes, he is. So, I mean, uh, yeah, we're talking about an awful lot of fine players south of the border. He is. Uh, Some he's not getting much to shoot at, and he's not getting one that he can reach. I mean, he has to stretch and. He's all right. Oh, yeah. He misses it's close. His misses look yeah. good. Yeah. <coughs> Sonny just can't seem to get a comfortable shot. <laughs> Tough for Sonny. It's times I know when I've been in a position like this, Sonny is. I, I just hope that people watching are paying more attention to how good the opponent is playing yeah. rather than my inability to score. Yeah. Yeah, some of my best games I didn't get very many points and <laughs> I just got uh, crushed by my opponent. In fact, I, I, Pedro beat me in the Nationals 25 to 4 a couple of years ago. <laughs> but, uh, you know, he gets the balls rolling. He can really walk over you. Mm -mm. Yeah. yeah. Many years ago, I played Sang Lee in the Nationals. New York at uh, yeah. Masters, and he uh, beat me 40 to 12 oh. in 12 innings. Now, yeah. the so thing was, he, he yeah. took him three to get out in that game, yeah. and when the game was over, the first thing I did, even before I congratulated him, was, you're ruining my average. <laughs> if he'd have got out in nine, I'd look up what my average would have been in that game. <laughs> and I got killed. Yeah, you can average two, and if your opponent's averaging four, uh, and I've seen the European, I saw Bloomdahl do that to, to Kamori before, so you can be playing great, and it doesn't mean anything. Your opponent's hot, but uh, these guys, uh, they're subject to real, real hot games, but Pedro's so consistent. That's, you know, he's got to be the most consistent player in this country right now. Oh, without a doubt, man, especially he's made a believer out of me. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I'm kind of stubborn that way, too. I mean, I've, I've had to, you know, hold back and pay attention and see, see just what he's doing. Now, this one here is going to test him, but uh, I guess he's going to go back it around the table. Off the white, not an easy yeah. shot. Looks like he's holding it up a little bit, but that red ball is right out in the middle of the ocean too. I mean, there's yeah. a lot of ways to miss it. Yeah, yeah. You only have a 
three ball width to make it. <laughs> Which, when you put it that way, Bill, it's not not too bad. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you got about you know seven inches, seven and a half inches maybe. <laughs> Oh, I don't think oh my goodness. That, that would be an accident. <laughs> yeah. That's two <laughs> open innings in a row. Three out of the last four, I believe. <laughs> okay, Sonny's got to come up with something. This, like you said, the ball's out in the middle of the ocean. <sighs> Playing off the red is no good. No easy shot. Let's, looks like he's going to play four four rails to the yellow. Yeah. No. Oh, he hit it bad. I think he's getting a little frustrated. Oh, no doubt in my mind. <laughs> yeah. Is. It's nine open innings in a row. That's yeah. just totally uncommon for anybody yeah. in this tournament. He's just one of those things. Yeah. Yeah, Pedro does a lot of traveling to play in these tournaments. He's he's gone back to to Mason's room and played in tournaments there in New York City, and he's come here. That's a that's a big expense, and you know, plus he's got his own pool room to run, and well, it takes a lot of sacrifice. Hmm. Oh yeah, perfect. <laughs> So my old my old buddy Frenchy used to call that slow motion. <laughs> He's definitely not feeling sorry for for Sonny. He's playing. He's playing safe <laughs> when he doesn't have a and when he doesn't have a lock in on the shot. He he shoots a uh, speed that gives uh, Sonny a very That's difficult, uh, very difficult the, position. Look at the people here. Oh my goodness! Yeah, standing room only. Yeah, it's uh, this is a nice event. Very nice event. It's a, it's a lot different than the audience when they're watching a the pool match. Oh Every, everybody's boy. yelling and yakking. Yeah, and yeah. You're right. <laughs> it's quiet and respectful. Yeah, you hear it's the people talking in the hallway, and we have somebody usually I call a, sh a shusher yeah. that sits out there and tells them to keep it yeah. down. Well, they years ago, my buddy called this the quiet game, and uh, you know, yeah, people at the yeah, at the look in here, and they, what are these people doing in formal wear? Right? Yeah, yeah, it's so quiet. <laughs> it's Some of the pool rooms you go in, they have the real loud music, and billiard players, they they want uh, peaceful. <laughs> billiard pay, billiard players are peaceful by nature. Uh-oh. Hit a little bit thick. Yeah, this game uh, and its surroundings are usually the epitome of refinement. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And... Yeah. Could 
been just a little easier, but <coughs> uh, he's probably going to back it. No? Oh, my goodness. Maybe, maybe. Mm, he's frustrated. Oh. <laughs> Okay, what do you think he's going to do here, Max? I think he might double the rail. Yeah, that's what I was wondering. He's got a couple of well, options. I, this is good cross -table. Um, I was saying earlier that do you sta know? these tables don't react that well to cross table shots. The this, this first and second rails are right. The third rail seems to straighten out. Yeah. I mean, not a problem. Oh, he did get it, but yeah. that's what happened. Yeah. Normally, a ball will like walk a, a line down. Yeah, like there's down a, hill. Certain, certain tables have different characteristics, and these players know which shots are, you know, more probable to make. And, uh, you know, the walk in shot, as we call it, uh, not an easy option on these tables. <coughs> I'm not sure if it's the, I think the height of the, the, the rails is pretty much consistent on most of the tables, but it might be the consistency of the rubber. I'm not sure. I wish I knew. <laughs> mm -mm. Yeah, it's all right. Oh, yeah. Well, he's shooting with a lot of confidence. So uh, kind not, of not the way these uh, rails play. <clears throat> yeah, the characteristics of being short and kind of uh, uh, he, he might have been able to make it, but it was difficult. Yeah, he did shoot it pretty hard, and yeah. that didn't help any. But who are we to criticize him? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, well, Sonny's, Sonny's made a couple of innings somewhere. in a row, so maybe uh, we got something coming up here. Somehow somebody. the rules say we're supposed to talk, but we have to have something <laughs> to talk about. <laughs> yeah. Well, I got plenty to talk about. I'm not sure everybody wants to hear it. <laughs> and a boy, uh, Sonny, come on now. Uh, yeah, Sonny gets rolling. He's very fast. Just his normal tempo is real fast. A lot of fun, man. Very explosive, like I said. Oh, my. Give him a little luck. Come on, now. <laughs> no, oh, boy. This is, this is double trouble. Yeah. How many points does uh, Pedro need? I think he needs five, according to my account. I'm going to give it a little snap. Yeah, we got to correct 35 to 7. Uh, <coughs> favor uh, Pedro. Pedro Bueno. Uh, he's. Could play this long or short? What's it look like? Long? I don't know, but he can get long from this angle. I think he's got to play three rails. No, he's going. No, he's playing three rails. He's playing yeah. a kiss. Okay, Sonny, slow down a little bit, buddy. <laughs> now you know you're going to get another shot if you make this one. Yeah, there you go. Yep. Got to get these openings. You have to really try to get another shot out of it. There you go. That's good. Very good. Not so good, though. Not, well, as, not as good as it could be, but... 
Yeah, well, it's not as good as it could be, but at least he was given a try to get another shot out of it. <laughs> Didn't shoot with enough speed. Come on. Maybe. Get there. Oh my, oh my. Wow. <laughs> well, they say, Bill, that nothing they're, rolls like a ball. Yeah, they're, they're rolling tough. <laughs> Even with a few open innings here, Pedro, still averaging around two. This game, he's uh, one inning be below two. Well, one I, inning I remember, above two, I, I guess. I remember about, uh, I don't know, maybe it was six years ago, maybe ten year, between six and ten years ago, they, Europeans uh, never had a tournament where anybody averaged two. Well, now they have a lot of them, but uh, that would be pretty amazing if uh, Pedro could get a two average for this tournament in America where... You know, everybody didn't think that was possible. <laughs> well, he's had some good first halves of games and sort of slowed down the second yeah, half. Yeah, that seems that the to way him. they all go. Yeah, all of his games have gone that way. Yeah. And I mentioned that to him, and he said, to me, well, I'm, no, I'm not a three average, and he laughed. <laughs> yeah. I said, well, the first half of the game, you seem to be. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know... When I first saw Bloomdahl, I made a comment in, in Chicago in 1984. I says, you know, you're averaging close to two. And he says, no, I'm a long way from two. And when you think about it, 1.7 is a long way from two. Oh, yes. I mean, <laughs> it's a mountain to climb. It's just like if you're just trying yeah, to go from like point seven to point eight. A four handicap yeah. and you want to get to a two. Oh, yeah. that's tough yeah. to do. Yeah, the higher you go, the higher it uh it is to get to the next plateau, it, it, which amazes me how these guys just keep on getting better. <laughs> I mean, I think uh, in golf, uh, you know, the average person's golf score is no different than it was 30 years ago. No. But I think in this game, I think, you know, type maybe it's knowledge and equipment, but, uh, you know, billiard players have gotten here. better over the years. All right, Sonny, you got a chance here to there you continue go. this run. I think he's uh, got to be careful. Going to go off the outside of the ball? Huh. He looks like he's going to try to thin it, I think. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Yeah, good shot. Uh, yes, sir. Three in a row. Had a boy, Sonny. Sometimes a player blocks your vision here on the monitor. Yeah, he's, uh, he's doing what I would do. Yeah, I think yeah. so. Pew, no, yes, yeah, sir, good, four. All right. <clears throat> it's nice to hear some applause when you're struggling. Yeah. Nice shot. You didn't take any time on that. No. <laughs> And, and personally, I think those are hard shots. <laughs> Maybe the more you think about them. You know. Yeah, it could be. Uh oh, uh oh. Ha ha ha. He deserves it. That's a six. Yep. Now slow down, Sonny. Make 11 at least. It's funny, he just went around that table yeah. to exactly where he started from yeah. and walked around fast. Yeah. <clears throat> It's no good, Sonny. Ah. It's so much as much as saying I should have missed the last inning. Yeah. I didn't want to luck, luck it. He's got nothing to feel embarrassed about. <laughs> Happens to everybody. <laughs> 14, it's 37 14. And yeah. I think that, uh, I think he should, um, 
do something here with this shot. I think it's makeable. got more than one to play. No, I think after this one, he only have one. I mean, but he gets to play seven matches. Yeah. He's got to play Torres. He's got to play, oh yeah. Yeah, he's got to play two rounds today. So yeah, he's going to have to play Torres and, and, uh, and the other two. Yeah, he's, only, he's only played four so far. Yeah, yeah, he's going to have to play uh, J. Cho. That was a, would be a uh, repeat of the left, the finals, the national finals. Yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Getting close to a kiss there. What's he need to? Yeah. Well, I, you know, I would say it's all over with, but uh, we'll see. from one. Double on the rail? I guess he is, huh? Hmm. No. My, what a hit. He got it. <laughs> well, that was a good game. I don't have any of either. Uh, this game ends at 40 to 14, and... Uh, 21 innings, uh, he's slightly over two, mm -hmm. but that's what he played, and uh, he's been playing around that all along, and I think his average is still maintained at two average after five games, which is certainly world class. Our next game here will be at uh, five o'clock, and uh, <clears throat> I'm happy to have Bill Johnson sitting in with me, and uh, yeah. goodbye. <laughs> we'll see you later.